Kaya Hannafin and I'm a snowboard female athlete on the Freeride World Qualifier Series. I'm in the Redwood City Sports Basement Shop today to tell you a little bit about the step in and step on binding. These are the Nidecker Supermatic Bindings. They're step in binding. I'm gonna tell you about some of the key features of this binding. To start, there's a roller, so this helps you um, slide into the heel pedal or the cradle. And once you slide your heel in here, you'll push it down and click right in. This is the locking slap ratchet, so you can adjust these however you want, however you would on a normal binding, um, to whatever fits your boot or comfortability with your foot. Once you get it all set to however you want it, you just lock it in right there until it clicks and it's all adjusted and it's just as easy if it doesn't feel comfy to adjust it however you want it by unlocking it like that. This feature right here is the slip and grip so your foot can slide into the binding like this when you have your boot on and you're looking to put your binding on. Coolest feature about this is once it locks, you can set it, forget about it, and you won't have to worry about it. It's also great because it's dual entry, so just as these lock and unlock, you can use them like a normal binding and adjust it however you see fit. So you have your lever right here to release, you push it back, and then you can just slide your boot in right here, like this. Boom, and you're all locked in, good to go. Yep, so these are the Nidecker Superbatics. These are the Flow NX2 bindings, part of Flow's step-in technology. There's a couple really cool features on this binding. First one being the high back technology. When you push your high back up, the ankle strap actually moves right in. You can see it do that. This locks in your boot, so it sits nice like this right onto your boot. The second really cool thing about this binding is the slip and grip technology. So your boot can slide right in. And then you pull the high back up you pull your lever up and you're locked in. You're good to go. As you can see on this binding, once it's fully adjusted to your boot, you won't have to worry about it. You just pull down the lever, pull down the high back, and you can slip your boot right on out. This creates for dual entry. It's compatible with every boot, so you can find a boot that fits you and it will fit right into this binding. Ready. step-on bindings and this is a Burton step-on boot. I think that's really cool about the Burton step-on technology is that there's actually no straps on these bindings. Everything is built into the boot. There are three different contact points right here, right here, and then on the back. So when you want to size your Burton step-on binding, you'll actually check in right here and you'll color match that to your box sizing on both the binding box and the boot box. And then when you go to size it on the actual binding, you'll see right here, it has your boot size. So you can adjust your binding to your actual boot size. It has a clip for your pants. So your pants won't get stuck when you're clipping in to the step in mechanism. When you're stepping in, you'll just step right in. You'll hear two clicks on the back. That means you're fully locked in. Also, you can't mix and match between men's, women's, and kids for the step-ons. When you want to release out of it, you just pull this lever on the side here, pull it up, and then you just wiggle forward, and you're out. The Burton step-on bindings, the Flow um, NX2 bindings, and the Nidecker Supermatic bindings, super cool. This is all the latest in step-in technology, and they're all available in your local sports basement shop, so check it out.